so it's me Jonas and today is the release day of the Air Jordan 11 Space Jam so I'm on my way to the mall right now to see if they still have uh, a pair for me I signed up for some crap so it's kind of stuff but I, I didn't get picked uh, but according to Champ Sports they'll be having like a release at 8 o'clock so hopefully they, I still can get a pair Review too. So, so it was a success. I wasn't able to pick it up at the Champ Sports, but I went to a store in Saint Vital, a Foot Locker. It's actually better because I'm able to use my VIP card, and I got like a twenty dollar rewards off of it. So that's nice. No queue. I was there was a queue, but it's, it's just a short queue. I was the third. I, I was the third in line. Uh, I'm gonna show you the unboxing. Uh, later on today so please watch out for it well hi there everyone so this is me again Jonas and this is an unboxing video of the 2016 Air Jordan 11 Space Jam so here's the box BAM look at that Number 23, and then there's like cans in there. Uh, monsters um, kind of thing for 23 holding the number 45, which is also embedded in there. Like the shiny, shiny thing that's going on. But number 45, if you guys can see that. So it's a pull out box, so you pull it, pull it out. So this is. The package is uh, somehow different from the previous Air Jordan 11 releases. So I do have a 2009, it's pretty, pretty much beat up already. So I'm happy that they released this once. Um, the reason why I copped it is because of the number 45. So when you open the box, there's another number 45 going on in there. As you can see, without the monsters' um, hands or Looney Tunes hands um, holding on to the numbers, so I think you guys can see that. If it if it came out the the same as the 2009s, I wouldn't have gotten these. So I also bought these jerseys. So I got this from Nike. So it's the Space Jam um, jersey and I, I got it for like 15% off. Yeah, so let's open up the box. So this is the box, open it up and there's like space or galaxy going on in there. So this which is awesome. The box is pretty much awesome and when you open it up there's like a small film which has the number uh, no a Roman numeral number 11 so from the previous releases it says there's like something it says um, think tink or tinker Hatfield so tink made them yeah, might made them fly and you made them iconic, something like that. But this one, yeah, this year it doesn't have that. So we're moving the film. So here's the film again, number 11. Without the uh, tank, I think it's tank made him shine, Mike made him fly, and you made him iconic, so something like that. And this is the paper. From the previous releases, uh, the paper is like carbon fiber. It's uh, white and then silverish finishing um, squares going on. So this is number 45. And you open these. And another paper in there. And bam, the shoe. Oh my goodness. 
I haven't opened this up yet, so I mean I haven't seen you know, unbox three yet, so this is my first time seeing these two. So this is B E A beautiful. So I'm just gonna remove the rest of the box here and I mean the rest of the shoe and I'll see the rest of the box. They have a lot of paper going on in the box. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of people in there. Number 45. And then awesome finishing on the inside of the box too. On the inside, so. You can see that. So that's like a Concord uh, Jumpman logo uh, at the center of the box with the space um, effects on the background or whatever you want to call it. So. It says QC, probably for quality check. Okay, it says. And this is the number 45 here, Jordan 11. You know, um, this is the remastered version of the 11. The previous one it wasn't. So this one is remastered. Why? Because the cuts from the 96 is something like that too. Uh, it has that. Uh, different color of the cuts compared to the, the last releases. So number 45 because uh, when Michael Jordan came back from retirement, it was um, I, I I think it was in 94, 95. Um, he retired. I mean Chicago retired the number 23. So he was using. Uh, so basically, you couldn't you couldn't uh, wear number twenty three because it's retired. So when he came back, to number forty five because that is what his number was in baseball, and that is what his father uh, jersey number is. And uh, his father was also playing baseball. So um, now this is the jersey. So I have the number forty five jersey, as you can see. And also the number 23, so it's uh, gonna look good on these. So I'm gonna be playing on these or uh, on basketball. I'm not I'm pretty sure it's not gonna perform that well because I've been playing on the 11s before. And yeah, I just wanna, I mean, just wanna play in them basically. So we'll be giving you a performance review of the shoe. Uh, but I kind of know what I'm expecting already. So this is, and this is the other pair. This is awesome. Number 45. Come on, that's beautiful. So number 45 is, this is what he used, uh, or Michael Jordan, um, the same shoe that he used when um, in the playoffs against the Magic. Uh, he wore the number 45, uh, but he was penalized for it because um, I don't know because I don't know what happens to the NBA, but the, the NBA doesn't want Michael Jordan to be wearing these, so he borrowed like a shoe from Penny Hardaway. Um, I just forgot the name of the shoe, and what Michael did is he removed the pull tab at the back because there's a number one. Um, because it's a panty shoe. So, and then uh, the next year he wore it. So, number 45, that is what he wore. And the next year he was able to wear the number 23. And the number 23 is actually the one that also Michael Jordan used on the movie Space Cam. So, uh, it was the number 23, not the number 45. So, the reason why I cop these is because of these, the Nike inside, and also the premium cut. And this is one of my favorite um, Air Jordan 11s of all time. My number one is the Concords, and number one is the Concords, and this is the next in line, basically. Beautiful shoe. Look at that. So, I guess you already know all these because, uh, so this is patent leather, um, this is the first time that a patent leather was used on a 
basketball shoe so it's really in, in, innovative um, also you can see on the outsole so it's uh, clear it's clear sole I do have the 2009s it's pretty yellowish now um, if I'm not mistaken this is also the first basketball shoe which implemented uh, carbon fiber as a support and this is like a Phylon uh, midsole so this is synthetic leather uh, right there and this is mesh so the rest of the, the upper and the top is mesh and uh, I'm really happy that it made these like stitched uh, before it was um, printed so prints are coming off easily you know my my uh, my 2009s is it's pretty bad right now uh, my breads which was released in 2012 if I'm, not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken it's also the same thing um, full grace concord is all coming off so I'm really happy that they stitched this this time around so, and I just noticed that the, the patent letter is higher so it's it's like the higher cut letter what I mean about that is this um, the previous model isn't high like this so but if you're gonna compare it to the 96 the shape and the patent letter cut is basically like this one I hope I have those originals but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be so yeah, so uh, this is a quick unboxing, uh, or unboxing video of the Air Jordan 11s and thank you guys for watching. Please watch out because uh, I'll be making a um, um, performance review of the 11s. So alright, till the next time.